Whether it's bullying, depression or relationship problems, the Kids Helpline aids thousands of youngsters each year deal with complex emotions. The organisation, which relies on public support, has released its annual report. And what's really frightening is the number of young people whose calls for help go unanswered. Alexander knows the toll a mental illness can take. After a close family member spiralled into depression, Alexander found he too wasn't immune. It's very difficult to cope with. Something like a mental health issue is really deep, really quite core. He reached out and now helps others, but the Kids Helpline annual report shows not all children are getting the vital support they need. We don't know whether that is the last chance we've got to get to that young person, so it's not a very nice space to be in. 700,000 young people between the ages of 5 and 25 contacted the Kids Helpline in 2013. Almost 400,000 dialed in, but sadly, 40% of these calls went unanswered, and this is due to a lack of resources. Hello, Kids Helpline. You're on the phone knowing that our kids are calling at that time who can't get through, and yeah, that can be, can be tricky. The report found that 25 young people every day are calling with thoughts of suicide and thoughts of self-harm. Psychiatrists say that while this statistic is alarming, it's sadly unsurprising. And while the Mental Health Act is currently under review in Queensland, doctors want greater focus on those issues affecting our youth. About one in five young people will suffer from a mental disorder at some stage. Kids Helpline relies heavily on community donations and needs help to help those with nowhere to turn. But the message for those kids in need is don't give up. If it's busy, call back again or head online. Claire Hunter, Nine News. Origin preparations for